Hello, welcome back to uh, another simple redstone creation. Um, what I got here is something I've actually been using for a little while since the release of 1.5.1. Um, what we have here is an automated stove. Um, this is completely usable in a survival mode. Easy to build. Very inexpensive. But it makes it so much easier. Um, I came up with this because in the process of mining, you come back with quite a bit. Um, sometimes you come back with several stacks of iron, stack of gold, you know, and a lot of, a lot of food that you manage to obtain on the way. And then you come in, you throw it in a stove. Right now I got some stuff cooking. I was doing some experimenting and coming up with different ways here. Um, but basically you can put one thing in. So, I just kind of want to eliminate that so that it makes it a little easier because I know I, you know, I don't come back with, well, I don't come back with that much gold usually, but when I come back, I come back with several different things that need to be smelted. So what we got here is a basic furnace. We're using three hoppers. Um, in order to do this, you only need three boxes. Now I've got the two double boxes. I for some reason make a habit of doing that but you know, I, it, it can be done with one so here what, here's what we got um, basically what you do is you come back and you place all your items into one chest okay that chest it, the hopper will pull it out of that chest and insert it automatically into the stove so let's say for instance let me grab some go through our pork chops that's what I was using on the other one okay so we'll put those into the chest okay now it's gonna automatically start taking them down into the hopper yeah see we still got raw pork chops in there um, then as soon as the gold is done it will start placing them into the furnace um, it will do up to the stack of 64 and then at that point it will move on to the next stack of whatever it is now over here, you know, I, you always get a lot of coal. So what we've done is, let me grab some coal. Okay, so over here what you'll do is you can simply, you know, place your coal. It will automatically start putting it into the hopper. The hopper will automatically put it into here. And now in here I actually use the coal blocks because I wanted to see how well it worked. I mean, we can always take that out and use it that way. The coal blocks eliminates a lot of the need for the extra box, though, um, because you can actually stick a stack of 64. Each one will uh, smelt up to 72 items, I believe. Um, there, each block is made of nine coal, not charcoal, just coal. Um, you make that in the crafting table. So if you turn them into blocks, you can actually put them in here, and they don't burn out. Uh, if you notice when you're smelting something or cooking something, each one will do up to eight items um, smelting. So if you put five pork chops in here, one piece of coal, it'll cook all five, but it'll still have, you know, some flame left instead of just stopping there and waiting till the next item you put in it will just continue burning for the time until that coal is gone and then of course you know it, as long as it's in here it, it's a whole piece of coal and it won't burn away but the block will actually hold that one block that's burning and not burn out so that's kind of a neat little upgrade now this is actually um, a creative world I did in 13W18C and uh, so the coal blocks won't be available in earlier versions um, I've actually been doing this since the 1.5 so okay here's uh, well basically the same design oops <laughs> don't do that um, oh, I know what I was doing here. 
Oh, no, I don't. I don't remember what I was doing there. So. Okay, so you now it started moving on to pork chops. So it's actually filling the pork chops. It's going to be cooking them, placing them into the box. I honestly don't know why I did the second one. I was trying something. Okay. Well, anyways, here is a simpler version. You can always do away with the box, keep it a little more compact. Um, the actual dimensions of this is you have to have a four foot tall by at least two, f uh, not four foot, four blocks tall, so four blocks high by two blocks wide for this version. For this version, you have to have at least four blocks high and three wide. Alright, this one here utilizes the the cold blocks. The reason I did this is that 60, uh, if you get a, block, a stack of 64 blocks, you're not going to need to put coal in it for a while. So it will go a long ways. But same concept. You load everything into your chest in the top. It transfers it all down to the hopper. The hopper places it into the furnace. As it's cooked, the furnace transfers it over to a box. Okay, and like I said, I started doing this when I was testing it. So these are items that have already been cooked. Um, let me show you real quick how to make this. Um, basically, we're going to act like there's a wall back there. So I'm not going to take the time to build one. Um, so, well, say you got a wall there. Alright, so we're going to place a block. Not two, just one. Do this so I can distinguish it. Okay. So you got a wall back there. So you place one block for the box. Okay. Place one block for the furnace. That's the only outside blocks you have to place. And this can be built inside the wall. Um, next thing. Hoppers hoppers have to be pointing in the direction that they're supposed to be aimed. Double click that one. And this wall's going to have to be out. Okay. But by doing these two blocks it makes it simple to make in survival mode. So you kind of want to be able to get up there to actually do it to place the first box there. Okay. Then you got hopper there. Hopper there. At this point, you can actually take this out and this out. Place a box there, and your furnace there. Okay, this whole not having a wall back there is kind of messing me up. But anyways, okay, so we'll just make it pretty real quick. Got a little girl running around in the background, giggling. Alrighty. So, now, now we got the basic setup done, place the box there, this is your item box, this is your coal box, and then at that point it's just a matter of filling them up, and all the smelted or cooked items will be placed into there. So, let's grab some, let's grab some coal, we'll actually grab a couple of these, we'll grab iron and what should we grab for food? Let's do let's do steaks this time. No. Yeah, let's do potatoes. Potatoes are one of my favorite things in this game. Okay, so coal box, you place all your coal. Item box. You place all your food and smelting items. They automatically start filling this, cooking, and they'll be placed in here as soon as they're done cooking. See? And that's just a basic, simple project you can do in survival. Makes it quick and simple when you get back from mining, adventuring around, and makes it easy to sort your inventory. This also kind of works along with the item sorter in a previous video tutorial I did. Um, same concept, using 
uh, hoppers to place items in the correct place. Um, I actually use both of them in survival mode because of the fact that I'm just lazy. I don't want to go around and sort everything manually. I just throw everything into a box and call it good. Um, this kind of works the same way. Your coal, you just throw it in here. Take your smelting items, throw them in there. When it's done, you pull it all out of here. Run over to your item sorter. Drop it in the box. And you're done. It does everything else for you. And leaves you more time to run around and kill stuff. Or just run around. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a great day.